So here is our drum. <clears throat> but before I put it into the proper position and size it to the proper thing, make sure that it is centered on all dimensions. Otherwise, we will have a problem when we add additional detail to this revolver drum. I don't need to see the body nor the backdrop item. So, revolver drums are centered exactly so the drum uh, is exactly aligned to the barrel. For that they have some additional geometry in. Let me uh, do this now. I will do it on the top one. So let's check if this is the top. Yes. So back to perspective. I add in an additional edge in here and then I need four additional edges in here or C with the count of four and that's not so good. Let me select these edges here, hit the R key, bring them closer together then select these edges, hit the R key as well, bring them closer. So top view, first I select these three edges here, hit the B key to bevel them out a bit like so, drop the tool, <coughs> then I go to vertex mode, select these two verts, connect them together, these two connect them together. Now I can add in the loop here, Alt C with a count of 1 to convert triangles to quads. Let me select these polygons here, Control X, Control V, so it becomes a separate set of geometry. Then I select everything else in here and shift H to hide the unselected. Now first I do select these two polys, hit the W key, bring them down a bit, control X, control V this one, bring these down a bit more, W like so, drop the tool. Now I can merge all these edges. Eight merge. This is standard modo behavior that if you have hidden geometry which is affected by a command it will unhide it automatically. So I can go to edge mode, hit the P key, Select these two edges, bridge them together, go to vertex mode, hit the P key, select these words, hit the P key again, then go to edge mode, select these edges and these edges and hit the P key again. Next I will convert all the triangles to quads. I select an edge here, Alt C, count of one, good. These are already here, we must first connect these edges, take the C key, shift click, then select the edge in here, Alt C, count of one. Now we have all the triangles converted to quads. Now shift tab to see how this will start looking. We need to harden edges now. These 
this one here for sure mm, this here this and all these only mm. Uh, let's wait with these ones. So, vertex map, edge way to how uh, this one. Yeah, not so bad. I mean, this is such a small detail, you will hardly notice that. So, unhide everything, shift tab. <clears throat> now I select all these polygons in here, hit the delete key, delete. again and the last one delete now let's select this one I select two polys down here shift up arrow select the last one control X control V and now I go to Duplicate, radial array, count of six, around the X, action center is origin, and click in the viewport, and go to vertex, merge, automatic, 82, merged, Let's see if we have, no, we have a problem here. So vertex mode, uh, these are two, these are two as well, shift tab. That was the only one, looks good. Shift tab out and our drum is finished. Let's bring back the body. And control click the drum as well. Now we can position the drum on the right place. I go to side view, the W key and get rid of the helix generator maybe about so drop the tool and here is our drum finished perspective again that looks not bad how does it match our backdrop item? <laughs> Pretty well, actually. Pretty well. Okay, shift tab out. Next, we will make the barrel. For that, I take two uh, polys here, hit the L key, control copy go to an empty mesh control V I must get rid of this backdrop then pull it out to about here control let me flip it control X and bring it back to the body control V 
let's see the backdrop item side view the W key but the action center automatic again like so edge mode W key bring it out here and next I will thicken it so polygon thicken the blue handle bring it out to about so yes drop the tool the next thing which also is a given I could have done it right away at the same time also the center of the drum I might want to make this one a bit bigger so hit the R key yeah like so L key control copy empty mesh control V <clears throat> and bring it out also so let's see this here and see how far out we need this edge mode W key to about here drop the tool I think I ought to uh, save this one <laughs> okay